Hey, Ray for Hollywood. Hello there, I'm Stan the Movie Man, and this is your WIMZ.com movie review. Sorry about not having a review for you last week. I apologize for that. I was on vacation, and I thought the house I was staying in had internet access. Unfortunately, it did not. So that kind of, you know, chewed up into my plans uh, as far as uh, getting a review on for you while I was off. However, I am back. And I decided, because it was my choice, that I was going to try to expand my horizons. Check on a film that maybe not everybody had heard about. Uh, you know, look at uh, an art film, uh, something that requires more of your mind than, than merely paying attention to the images on the screen. I went to see Jackass 3D instead. Uh, of course, Johnny Knoxville, Bam Margera, Ryan Dunn, Steve-O, Wee Man, and the whole crew back for the third installment, this time in 3D. Of course, there's no plot synopsis to give you. It's just the guys, you know, pulling off various goofy stunts and, and various pranks, both on each other and on unsuspecting members of the public. Um, you know, I enjoyed it quite a bit, actually. Um, uh, it's funny if you enjoy this kind of thing. I, I suppose it's it's one of those films that if you don't enjoy watching people um, get hit in the face uh, unsuspectingly by giant uh, hands or by um, uh, boxing gloves or uh, inflated balls or getting hit in the um, mommy and daddy bits with uh, baseballs or or paint gun pellets, or whatever it happens to be they're doing to each other. If you're not into that, then you know let this one go. If, however, you were a fan of the TV show or the other two movies, you'll enjoy this one as well. Uh, now, the question I have is, aside from a fat paycheck, why do these guys inflict this kind of damage on themselves? There's a very good chance in some of these stunts they could be seriously injured, if not killed in some of them. Um, and the only thing that I can think of, aside from the check, is that these guys really, really like each other. They are willing to put up with the pain and the embarrassment uh, in order for them to be together. It's the only thing that makes any sense other than they wrote me a check, I showed up. Um, so, you know, if, if you are a fan of this show, I think you'll enjoy Jackass 3D. You probably get by without paying the extra charge um, and just see it, see the 2D version of it because the 3D really doesn't add anything to it. The thing I could have done without in the film, <laughs> without giving too much away, are the things that make you want to vomit and actually made the guys in the movie vomit. Uh, I, I could do without that stuff. You know, I, I, I don't understand why they do it on Survivor, don't understand why they did it on Fear Factor and don't understand why they do it in Jackass. They could have done a couple more stunts. There were some stunts that weren't in the movie that were in the closing credits that would have been great in the movie, but instead we have um, sweatsuit cocktail and a stunt involving um, an outhouse filled with poo on bungee cords. And I'm just going to let that one go. Uh, but other than other than those things, I enjoy Jackass 3D. Um, if you have a weak stomach, you might want to let this one go. And if you just don't like this kind of humor, let this one go. I like that kind of humor, and I'm giving it five guitars. Go to WIMZ.com to read my complete review as well as to vote on the movie. I'll see you next time. If you have any questions, feel free to send them to me at StanTheMovieMan at ATT.net. You can also follow me on Twitter at Movie Man Stan. See ya.